The results received from the registration depend on the region used as a reference for registration. If the scans are registered using the cranial base as a reference, we can analyze the face displacement due to the treatment and or growth. If the scans are registered using the mandible as reference, we can evaluate the mandibular changes, including its areas of growth. For voxel base registration, you need to load the T1 and T2 scans. The segmentation of T1 of the region used as a reference for registration, which in this example is the cranial base, and the segmentation of T2 of the same region of reference as T1. Each of these must be loaded into the 3D slicer software. The segmentation of the region of reference works as a mask, which delimits the region that the voxels would be compared to in both scans. First of all, load the files into Slicer. And remember to check the Centered option for all of them. You can also check the Label Map option for the segmentation files you want to see them as labels. Otherwise, they will just be black and white. Click OK and wait for them to load. Double check to see if the files are OK by visualizing them, overlaying, and changing contrast. You'll recall this can be done by clicking on the tiny pin icon in the upper left corner of the window, the red, yellow, or blue. Then click the double caret icon, and then the rings icon to link the axial, sagittal, and coronal views. Double check to see if the files are OK by visualizing them, overlaying, and changing contrast. In order to start the voxel base registration, go to the Modules drop down menu, then go to CMF Registration, then Voxel Base Registration, then finally click either Growing or Non Growing Registration, depending on the age of the patient. Under the Select Input Files, select the baseline scan, fixed, as the T1 scan, follow up scan, moving, as T2 scan, baseline segmentation fixed as segmentation of T1, and finally follow-up segmentation moving as segmentation of T2. If you chose growing registration, the next tab of options is the voxel base registration options. The three different checkboxes here offer different ways of modification for the scale of the scans. With a growing patient, Modifying the scale of the scans helps to find the best coordinates of rotation and translation during the registration. However, at the end, the scale will not be considered, so the growing patient scans can still be considered as linear registration. The first option, Rigid plus Scale 7 DOF, works for most of the cases, but if for some reason it doesn't, you might want to try any of the other options. At the Output Registration Matrix option, choose the option Create a New Linear Transform. It'll be the text file with the coordinates of rotation and translation of the registration. It's possible to apply this matrix to any other file scans or segmentation. Finally, under Apply Registration Matrix, set Input Seg to be registered as a segmentation of T2. It can be the same as the one set in follow-up segmentation, moving, or any other segmentation of T2 would work as well. In any case, it can also be done with a separate module called Apply Matrix. For Output Registered Seg and Output Registered Scan, select the option Create and Rename New Volume. These will be the final files and the ones to be saved at the end. The Output Registered Seg is the same file as the one set before in Input Seg to be Registered, 
but now the matrix is applied. Likewise, the output registered scan has the same file as the one set in follow up scan moving, but now with the matrix applied. Finally, click the Apply button at the bottom and wait for it to be completed. It can take from 5 to 45 minutes, depending on the resolution of the scans and the size of the segmentation file. Double check to see if the files are OK by visualizing them, overlaying, and changing contrast. When it's finished, don't forget to save the files. Click the Save button in the upper left corner. In the window that pops up, select the files you want to save, choose the format and directory, and finally click Save.